I really didn't want to have to make this video. We have not seen the chart look like this in months. In fact, the last time we did see this, we ended up with a 25% drop to the downside. Let's build a little bit of context. What exactly is happening right now in these markets? Well, for the past two weeks, we have been trading in what appears to be an ascending triangle. And two days ago, I made a video saying we need to be very, very careful of a breakout of the triangle only to hit our target with bearish divergences and then get a fake out to the downside, which is why you should like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications because we are giving you these setups before they happen. We were looking to hit our target around $36,000 and then maybe be printing the very bearish upside down Sam Bankman Freed man boob pattern where as the price is getting higher to key resistance, Sam Bankman Freed's man boobs are getting lower. The medical term for this is called a bearish divergence. And actually, if we just go ahead and superimpose these man boobs over this chart right here, we can actually see that as the price is getting higher into that key area of resistance, our target box that we had from the video last time, Sam Bankman Freed's man boobs are getting lower. This is pretty much exactly what we were concerned about two days ago. And when we came up to the box, what did we get? We got a rejection from that level. Now, shout out to the Casper crew taking the juicy short trade from the setup given a f like multiple days in advance because we knew $36,000 was a very, very key area of resistance. Now, I have not seen the upside down Sam Bankman Fried bearish man boob pattern on market cipher B for quite some time. In fact, the last time we saw this pattern was way back here in uh, July when we actually hit that 31,750 level. Now, this was another short we took in the Casper Crew VIP Discord, but as you can see here, the money flow and the momentum waves on market side for B getting lower as the price is getting higher. Now, the last time we saw this pattern, we ended up with a massive 20-ish, 21, 22% move to the downside. And you can go back and look at every single time we've printed this pattern to see, yeah, whenever we get this, it's pretty much a significant move to the downside. The last time we got the bullish Sam Bankman Freed man boot pattern on the four hour time frame was right back here from around 25K. And I longed this, we longed this in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. You know, that setup was given in advance as well because it was a very, very key support resistance flip. But I held that long trade for months, even though price did nothing for months, right? It literally did nothing for 23 plus days until all of a sudden we got the big move to the upside. So now we're seeing the opposite right now. What does this mean? Does this mean we're going to drop right down to zero right away? No. What it means is that for the first time since the middle of August, the chart is looking bearish on a higher term time frame. And it means we need to be prepared for a pullback because although, of course, just like everybody else, I want Bitcoin to pump, it's not always going to go straight up. Now, when we take a look at the weekly time frame, we also need to understand the, the importance of the level that we're hitting right now. If we take a look at the entire cycle from the top of the bull market to the bottom of the bear market, we can see right now, actually, that we are hitting into that macro 382 Fibonacci level. This is no joke. This is a multi-year Fibonacci level. And so for the first time in months, the chart is looking bearish. We need to think to ourselves, we're at key resistance. We could get a significant pullback here. And by the way, a huge shout out to the Casper crew taking the dang short trade setup given in advance in the Discord. Guys, during the past week, I was literally able to make over $12,000 trading only the levels in the setups that I personally have given in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. And by the way, if you want to join the Casper Crew, you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com. Go ahead and click the link to join the VIP Discord. It's not a signals group, but maybe it kind of is. We have multiple instructors in here <laughs> giving the levels, giving the setups, walking through the live price action. And also, if you want to get educated, check out the courses that we have here. Of course, this is paper trading only. We don't ever trade with real money here because, you know, real money is risky and the purpose of life is to avoid all risks. Also, if you want to trade cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and altcoins, I highly recommend you check out my go-to exchange, Maxi. 0% limit order fees, uh 0.01% market order fees, honestly, is great for scalping the low timeframes. In fact, this morning, I am scalping the low timeframes right here, uh, just racking up the small wins over time. Literally, because the fees are so low, I can enter on a five second time frame, mark it in, mark it out without letting the fees cut into my profits. Links in the pinned comment and description. Also, guys, if you want to trade assets like the S&P 500, which I'm also trading, check out the exchange Bing X. This allows you to use your tether as margin if you don't want to open up a traditional brokerage account, but you also want to take advantage of trading the traditional markets like the S&P 500. So what does this mean for Bitcoin? Well, I'm going to go over a best case scenario and a worst case scenario here. Now, as traders, our job is not to predict what the price is going to do. 
Our job is to identify the key levels. And then when price gets there, we make a decision whether or not to take a trade, right? That's what's so important. We can't make predictions. We need to just take the chart as it comes. If it starts to look bullish at a key level, we long. If it starts to look bearish at a key level, we short. So in my opinion, right now, based on everything that we've got going on, we have had a very, very clean breakout above the key level of resistance, which is $30,000. This was basically our support all throughout the bull market, our resistance all throughout the bear market. Now, I would not consider this a true breakout unless we come back down for a retest right a retest of around thirty one thousand dollars pretty much somewhere in this zone right here where we had these little ranges where the price was struggling to break down from and then struggling to break out from this in my opinion is a best case scenario because what it does is it allows us to capitalize on potentially the rest of this bear market rally which in my opinion will take us up to our next major target of around 47 ish thousand dollars the fibonacci golden pocket right around here is, is the potential target of the bear market rally it will allow us to get into a nice long trade from the low of you know this new support resistance flip right and because basically if we're longing now we're longing into resistance and that's not a good thing to do the charts are looking bearish but if we wait for the pullback what used to be resistance throughout the bear market is now once again going to be support right that's how support resistance flips work if it used to be the floor and we lose the floor now it's the ceiling it's like floors in a house if we take the stairs to the second floor of the house well what's the ceiling on the downstairs is the floor on the upstairs and then we can take along from the floor and take it up to the next ceiling now in my opinion this is the best case scenario and i do think there's more upside in this potential bear market rally people forget that you know last bear and bull cycle we hit 20k we dumped down to 3k then in the bear market we pumped up to 14k where literally the price was closer to the all-time high than it was to the low of the bear market right so there still is room for upside in my opinion in the bear market rally before the happening now a worst case scenario right here guys is that this macro 382 is going to be the top of the bear market rally in which case then we need to entertain the fact that if we come back down now into and we lose this you know what used to be the ceiling and we lose this level again this entire thing could be a fake out and then we need to be ready for a move back down to the low of this other range, putting in our double bottom of the bear market, which typically happens, whether that be a higher low or a lower low. And we could see prices coming all the way back down toward the yearly open, the $16,000 level. Now, this is very high time frame analysis, guys, but really we need to be prepared for moves like this, okay? I'm not saying we're going to 16K tomorrow. I'm saying if we come back down below this key zone of support, based on the technicals of the chart, based on the bearish divergences that are forming on the high time frames, the probabilities are that we will come back down toward the low of this big range, right? Once we establish a sideways range in the market, Okay, like for example, what we did back here, right? And this little chunk of price action. Let's just take, take a look at it, okay? Once we establish a sideways range, if we lose that range, like we did right here, you know, this whole little range thing, once the FTX, we lost the range. Once we came back into the range, what happened? We came back to the top of the range. Now, the same is true if we're losing ranges to the upside, right? We're, we lost this range to the upside right now. If we come back in, the probabilities are we will make our way back down toward the bottom. And it just is also in line with the historical market cycles. Okay. Now I am not an ultra bear. I am not an ultra bull. I am taking this level by level to determine what is more probable. I am an if then trader. If the price looks like this, and the chart looks like that, then this is the action I will take, right? I'm not here to make predictions. I'm here to trade the charts. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah. Even if you are not religious, I still pray you and your family are super blessed and that you found this video valuable. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell, and I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.